good morning. Well, was it 20 to 2? Yep. I'm sort of uh, sitting up late the last couple of nights because I've got this rotten cold. And actually, at the moment, I just don't feel like going to bed. I'm not feeling tired enough, so I thought I'd do a vlog. Kill a bit of time and whatnot. I might feel tired enough afterwards. Anyway, um, today, my new camera arrived. Uh, da -da -da -da. When I can remember where I put it. <laughs> I only had it here like five minutes ago because I was playing with it. Oh, there it is, right in front of my bloody eyeballs. That's alright, I've got a funny story with this. Here it is, from Sony. Sony Handycam. It's all tested, works. I don't know why I'm up here with it, but it's because I wasn't looking what I was doing. <laughs> here we go. And uh, thanks, Mark. <laughs> Much appreciated. Loving it. Um, and as he said when we were discussing this on Facebook, the um, shutter slider thing has broken off, but that's it. It doesn't affect the functionality of the camera. Works perfectly, and I did finally get this to charge. <laughs> I feel like such a dumbass. Um, Mark Hyder, that's his YouTube name as well, um, had sent me the message because we were talking about this, and because uh, I said I hadn't got a mains charger for it. I was going to have to get one. And he said I could charge it via the USB in this handle. Me, you could probably see it right now. He meant this one actually in the handle. Because I didn't see this, don't ask me how the hell I didn't see that. I didn't see that despite having to move it I don't know how many times like this to get to the one under there, the micro USB, which is your data transfer sort of socket, because as soon as you plug this in it comes up as a mass storage device, you know, I must have spent about half an hour trying to get it to charge, you know, doing that, plugging things in and out of that little socket there, and I walked away and this was laying on the side sort of you know, like that with the strap up. And I looked at it and I thought, I can see a cable there. <laughs> so yeah, it does charge. I don't need the charge now. What I do need is the um, a memory card. I have got two. The only problem is one is far too small. It's only a one gigabyte, which gives me two minutes of um, record time, because I've tried it on here, on that camera. And the other one, my focus is playing up on this camera tonight. The other one's an eight gigabyte one, which would have made the camera usable, but the card doesn't work. <laughs> um, and neither the camera nor my computer would format it, so it's a, just a duff card. But they're not too expensive. Um, I would like to go the full whack and get a 64 gigabyte one, but that's not going to happen when I next get paid. And I'd like to get to using this as you know as soon as possible. So I'm probably going to go for a 16 gigabyte one, as that's the cheapest I have found. I think I found one on Amazon for like 12.99 or something. I'm going to have a bit of a shop around, because I might find, you know, a bigger one for a similar price. You never know. But I was using a 16 gigabyte SD card with my old camera, and that gave me plenty of um, card space for what I do. So I might just stick to the 16 gigabyte at least for now. And if I need to, like get an upgrade in the future, you know, they're not too expensive, I can upgrade. <clears throat> um, so yeah, thanks again, Mark. <coughs> <coughs> ah, he 
says, cuffing, coughing up his guts, cuffing up his guts. I'm cuffing my guts. You're under arrest. You're under arrest, guts. <laughs> uh, the other thing I've been doing today, I'm going to just back up from the camera a little bit. Uh, hang on. Yes, I'm getting lazy. I'm just rolling around on my chair. Ow. I'm banging my knee on the bloody table. I've actually got this now completely personalised and set up the way I want it. Uh, really can't complain for a freebie, you know, the mouse pad doesn't work, but don't give a shit. I use an external mouse anyway, because I prefer them, I really do not like touchpad mice. So, uh, yeah, I've uh, been installing things like Skype, VLC, Firefox, don't know why I use Firefox, because it's still, even on this it bloody lags. Um... So, bookmarked a few websites that I want on here. Literally just a few, because this is really the only reason I use a laptop is when I'm going to mum's and I just want to check on emails, on eBay, you know, in case I get any questions asked for anything I've got for sale or if I'm bidding on something, you know, I can keep an eye on it. Uh, Facebook, just for when I get bored at mum's, or if I get bored at mum's, you know. I've even bookmarked YouTube and Netflix, so I like to think of funny videos to show the family I can bring them up. Although my Netflix, uh, I need to pay that. But, uh, yeah, that's one thing I like about Netflix. It's not compulsory. Yes, they do... I think give three attempts to take the payment out of your account but they don't just cancel your Netflix account they suspend it sort of thing so I could go back maybe not this time or next time when I get paid but the time after and I can pay it then you know it's not a problem I left my account suspended for at least 12 months in the past if not longer I can't remember I know it was a bloody long time and I literally just went in there, updated my payment method and paid it, and poof, <laughs> just unlocked my account. So your account is always there. A bit of loose skin, and that was actually annoying me. But I do apologise for doing that on camera. Uh. I was going to go to Mum's tomorrow, but they're trying to find somewhere to store the caravan they've just bought. Because uh, Biggles, again, has just bought himself another one. So he sold him his old one. Gee. <laughs> and uh, that's my stepdad's idea, actually, because we're not the sort that could afford holidays, you know, abroad, so caravan I think it's only a two birth caravan but I'm not a traveler anyway so it wouldn't bother me um, although if we had camp beds you know we could camp out in the awning they've got a tent as well so we could even sling the tent in there you know and just rent two pitches when we go camping but I don't think I will because I actually find it very hard to sleep in an unfamiliar place. That could be something related to my Asperger syndrome, but I, this is why I don't like sleeping over at Mum's at Christmas, because I just can't sleep. I really can't. I end up pulling an all-nighter. You know, and by the following night, I just pretty much come home, go to bed, and I'm out like a light. So, those are usually the reasons I just don't like to sleep. It's not because I don't want to go, you know, and sleep out, because I used to when I was little. But, you know, I used to have sleepovers with my friends, you know, especially my, um, well, technically he would be my half-cousin, but I just used to call him my cousin. Um, but even then, it would take me hours, and I mean hours, to fall asleep. 
because I used to sleep on a camp bed, which wasn't really uncomfortable. It's just because it wasn't my bed and it was in an unfamiliar place, it didn't matter how tired I got, I just couldn't sleep. So, yeah, I don't like to. Just because, you know, I won't sleep. And then I'll just be grotty and miserable all day because I'm tired. That's not pleasant for other people. So, I don't. But it's sort of a tradition for me to do it at Christmas. You know, go over to Mum's, so. But yeah, they've got to go and find somewhere to um, store it. Um, which isn't actually costing that much. There's one that they looked at which was quite far from here for £20 a month. But there's one a lot closer to where they are, but costs more. But the way Mum sees it, and she's got a good point, by the time you factor in fuel costs to go over to the one that's further away, you might as well actually just rent a spot at the closer one. Because, <laughs> as Mum's, Mum's words always are, is it's as broad as it is long. I like that sound because it means you know it's the same that way as it is that way. <laughs> There's not a lot of difference. But because of this cold, I just haven't felt like doing a lot. I've had a potter around here really. I wanted to get cleaning like the bathroom or you know, do the kitchen top to bottom and not like a half clean like I gave it before. Uh I just really haven't felt like it today. I've been sneezing all day. I've been coughing. A lot of times when I sneeze, my sinuses feel like I've been kicked with lead boots afterwards. Or if I was going to talk brony talk, it'd feel like Applejack kicked me in the nose. <coughs> but... Uh, yeah, it's not too bad at the minute. I have got a blocked nose. Actually, no, it's not blocked. Partially blocked. But I can guarantee, as soon as I go to bed, one of my nostrils will block, and that's the one that's just going to drip like a tap. <laughs> and annoy the hell out of me. But I have got a, a roll of toilet paper in there for that reason. And uh, I'm going to take you through to the bedroom. Uh, oh, that reminds me. I'm going to experiment with this tomorrow as well. Because as you know, the internal ROM drive isn't connected because every time I hit the eject button, this blue screen... And that's a, oh, pardon me, that's an SATA drive as well, that's a SATA drive. This one, my USB one, doesn't affect it, doesn't do nothing. I can use this USB one on my computer fine. But, it's an IDE drive in there, the old style. Now, I did try different um, SATA ROM drives in here and it does exactly the same, no matter what drive I put in there, no matter what cable. So it could be a SATA problem on the board. Well, I'm not going to worry about it too much because, well, like I said, one, I've got that external one. Two, I'm going to upgrade it at some point this year anyway. But I did check this, and this does have an IDE header on the motherboard. So, I can actually remember where I put it. I've got an IDE CD drive that I'm going to stick in there. Oh, there it is. That I'm going to stick in there tomorrow and see if it works. Got nothing to lose. It's either going to work or it's going to, you know, blue screen and restart itself like it's done in the past. I'll put that back on. Well, that would just. I'm going to try it because if it works, then I can move that off my desk. I will keep that though. Because that. Is very handy because uh, my laptop doesn't have a CD drive built in. 
Right, but uh, the other thing I did today, I did install my printer on the um, Sony Vio in here that I use with this camera because it's got the video capture device on it. I could easily go and buy one, but why do that when I've got a computer? So I've been in here, and as you can see, my ponies have disappeared from the shelf. My old black and white TV is there. PC games are all up there. I have printed some pictures off to put on the wall, like I said I was going to, but uh, I've got a bit of a technical issue with the printer in that the magenta nozzle isn't functioning correctly. It's functioning enough at the minute, but not correctly. I do need to get some more ink. And yes, I've cleaned the heads oh you should have seen it when I printed the first picture off it was dreadful I'll see if I can find it in a minute but anyway I've put my whole collection so far over here and I can't believe someone because I took photos of this and put it on one of the um, brony groups I'm on and somebody <laughs> someone said too much time on their hands on my hands and too much money well there's not actually a lot here. The most expensive plushie I bought was Coco here at £21.60p. Mind you, I do believe the shipping was free. You know, the rest of all bought, well, <coughs> probably paid the most for Christmas there, but the rest, Sunset, Trixie, Octavia, I don't know why I had to stop and think. It's just that my brain freezes. That's all it is. Uh, Twilight, Fluttershy. I got all of those. Actually, I can't... No, Tavi was twelve ninety nine. The rest, aside from Queen Chrysalis, was um, £10 exactly. Because I got all four of those from the same eBay seller. So I didn't pay full price. And, you know, it's not like I bought all this in one go, you know. This is going on for three months. No, it's got to be nearly four months worth of collecting so far. You know, I've only been a brony for four months. Only came out as being brony like a month in. <laughs> and, uh, I have to say, I still feel... That little bit of embarrassment when I buy such stuff in the shops, but at the end of the day, I just think to myself, I don't, no, I don't fucking care. Why should I care what other people think? Put me um, squishy pops, my squishy pops up here, rather not the squishy pops. Using the um, lavender heart boxes as like a little podium. Oh yep. Ow, poo. You always get one awkward. And coincidentally, the awkward one here is Pinkie Pie. She was stand I haven't even been near the shelf and she was standing there like that and I just found it and knocked over again. But, you know, Pinkie Pie is like the really hyperactive character in the show. So it's, it really is ironic that it was her that was um, off her podium. <laughs> yeah, I've got my um, fashions as well. I do want to get some more of these Famosa plushies. But some just look better than the other. Look at this one. Well, I'm a little bit disappointed with the Fluttershy one. This is the Applejack one. That actually doesn't look too bad. It's not a spot on colour. The mane's not exact, it's more like Apple Fritter's mane, her cousin. But, again, it's not that bad. But this one, not only are the wings missing, the mane is actually wrong, as I said in that video. <laughs> yeah. oh, well. Again, you know, just as a, a soft, cuddly something to cuddle for kids and whatnot, that is absolutely perfect for that. But... Uh... I actually saw a poster game pop up, you know, basically saying, you know, fan-made plushies are a lot more correct 
to the actual character than what Hasbro license. But like I said, the Hasbro licensed toys are exactly that. They're toys. You know. They've got to be designed as being a toy in mind. Whereas what the fans make, they take a lot more time over it. Um, they haven't got to mass produce them. I mean, these are all got to be produced in a factory. Even these ones which are made in Japan, I believe, along the front here. You know, they've all got to be made in a factory, so they've got to be reproduced, and of course, to keep up with orders, they've got to be reproduced at a certain speed. You know, they can't take all day just to make one. So, uh, there's all those factors, so... But, uh, of course, with those sorts of factors, certain sacrifices have to be made, unfortunately. And then I suppose as well, they've got to keep certain toys within a certain price bracket, or at least certain sized plushies, you know, and toys. I mean, even this TY one is not exact. It's actually not far off, to be honest. It's just that face, quite 100%, not to me. But like I said, it's not actually far off. TY are actually pretty good. I do like TY stuff. I wouldn't mind perhaps at some point in the future getting some more um, of the largest TY plushies that they do, which is um, flush eye size hidden in there, this one, which was actually the first plushie I bought. In fact, it's the first My Little Pony thing I bought. Probably one of my number one favourite ponies out of the main six. Well, actually, out of the main six, my favourite ponies would be Fluttershy and Twilight. Uh, as far as, you know, the non-main six characters would go, I think I would have to say... Probably got three main favourites, and that would be Coco, Octavia and Trixie. Don't know why, but I really do like Trixie. Of course, there is other characters I like, you know, like Queen Chrysalis, my favourite villain, probably. And I really can't. I don't care what other bronies and Pegasus to say. I really can't. I cannot consider Sunset Shimmer, Trixie, and Starlight Glimmer as villains. Well, actually, Sunset, I probably could, come to think of it. But Trixie and Starlight Glimmer, I don't know what it is, I just can't. <laughs> and none of that up there is actually straight, is it? I've just realised that. Oh, Rara. How can I forget Rara? Okay, so four non-main characters. Although I like Rara in... Uh, that form. I don't like the one that she had before that, you know, the um, made up one. Oh dear. Well, can't be bothered to move anything tonight. Yay, I was right, I'm getting tired. And it's absolutely pissing it down outside. No wind yet, though. I don't know when we're supposed to get these strong winds, but there's no wind yet. We've had some wind. We had some wind yesterday, but so far, we're not getting these gale force winds. I don't, like I said, I don't know when we're supposed to get them. Right. Uh, so, like I said, no idea. No idea what I'm going to get up to tomorrow, aside from experimenting with that drive. Uh, so I think I might give it a miss, going to Mum's tomorrow. It's not fair to go over there and drag my cold over there and give that to them as well, is it? I'll just plug you back in over here. No idea how long I've rambled on for. Probably a lot longer than I wanted to. Oh, 
well, actually, not as long as I thought. Right. <coughs> Okie dokie. Uh, bring my chair back in. Uh, getting some items listed on eBay would be a start. Uh, can't remember when my payment is actually due, though. Pardon me. Yeah, I'm sh there was other tasks that I had planned for tomorrow as well, if I wasn't going to Mum's. Can I think of them now? Nope. Oh, dear. Um... Now that I've got my laptop, I really don't need my Windows 7 desktop over here. I could get rid of that quite easily. Uh, hum, 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 hum. No, uh, I might actually sell that to be honest. Oh dear. Oh dear. Bless me. Um, I have got someone who's interested in it. Uh, ooh, some black tape on my hand from somewhere. Um, actually, no, it's not. It's probably off of the handle on that camera. Yeah, I've got someone who said she was interested in it. But maybe she'll trade for her old PC. You know, her old PC and a bit of cash. I'd be happy to do that. Um, because this works. It's actually down here on the floor. That's why I keep looking down that way. But I've got another Adele in the bedroom. That I could easily set up as like an emergency spare PC. Just in case the main one over here decides to fail. You never know, it's electronic. They don't last forever. Something could easily just go kaput. In my case, it's usually memory or the hard drive. Oh dear. Right. So yeah, I could, could actually easily get rid of that. All I'd have to do is buy a fan for the um, Dell, because it's got one missing. And because it's a system fan, it throws a complete fit because it's not there. <laughs> one is, but apparently one's not enough. So, uh, oh, that reminds me, I need some more thermal paste as well. So... On one of my paydays, when I've got the extra bit of cash because I haven't got to pay bloody bills, I will get those bits and I will build that one up. Because I can use the um, external CD drive behind me to uh, install Windows on it. Because it hasn't got a CD drive either, but like I said, I don't use it often, but it's still handy to have, so... Uh, definitely something I'll do so yeah I will get rid of the one that I've got down here it's not needed but I will give my friend first dibs like I said if you want to give me her old computer that's well she well it's been playing up for months I remember her last year at some time saying you know it's being a pain in the ass if she wanted to give me that and say yeah, 20 quid or something, I'll do that. As I said, it works. It's got card reader on it. DVD, CDRW combo. Uh, haven't got a video card on it though. It's got 64 bit windows. Yeah, so 
I will chat to her. I haven't heard from her today, actually, so I have to drop her a message on Facebook tomorrow, I think, whenever I drag my ass out of bed. Seriously, with this cold, I just haven't felt like dragging myself out. Get your tail out of my face. I just haven't felt like dragging myself out of bed. So, I'll get this video up tomorrow as well. Should I have something else I wanted to do? And I, for the life of me, I cannot think of what it was. It doesn't help that I distract myself. Again, it could just, it could be something, you know, related to having Asperger's syndrome, but while I was actually physically chatting to you, my mind was looking, and my eyes were looking over here on the Lego table thinking, I can move that house over there. And that's why I just get sidetracked so easily, because, you know, I'm trying to have the conversation, but my mind is thinking about something completely bloody different. And I end up just losing track myself and uh, all getting completely sidetracked. Uh, someone actually called Asperger's Syndrome a disease. It's not. A disease is something you can catch or um, contract, you know. Measles is a disease. Cancer is a disease. Asperger's syndrome is a disorder. Um, it's a condition, you know. You can't catch autism. It's not contagious. You can't, you know, contract. You can't pass it on. Same with my psoriasis. That's a skin condition. Uh, <clears throat> so... No, I'm not keen on it being called a disease. It's a condition. But anyway, I'm going to leave the video here because I think I've rambled on enough. Nearly, nearly 40 minutes. Oop, focus. Focus, you biatch. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I'm uh, probably going to bugger off to bed. Very shortly, actually. What's the time? 2.15? Yeah. I'll just uh, double check some emails and whatnot before I go to bed on the computer. Blow me nose. Try and stop myself from um, sweating. I know it gets hot up here, but I think my cold is just making me feel so clammy at the minute. Because it is one of your body's um, systems for getting rid of Holes and whatnot, you know, you sweat. <coughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you want to, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. And don't worry, videos will be getting better now that I've got this new camera right beside me here. I'm gonna try with what primitive tools I've got to make a little intro. I'm not sure about an outro, but there will be an intro. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.